Do you know that there is a publishing company that wants to make life easier for you as a writer? This publishing company is called World Inkers Printing and Publishing. We publish in all different languages, and we're looking for writers of all genres, all formats. We're looking for scholars, ghostwriters, playwrights, poets, short fiction, novelists, you name it. We're looking for anybody who is interested in writing and the craft of writing to be in touch with us. You can reach us at info.worldinkers at gmail.com. With World Inkers Printing and Publishing, you do not require a lot of money to publish with us. Contact us today at info dot world anchors at gmail dot com become a winner with other authors at world anchors printing and publishing give us a shot we, we will surely finish you through the pain through the pain through the Hi, welcome to World Inkers Network. I am Dustin Pickering, your noble and honest host. This is episode 243. Maria do Rosa, Rosaria Lores, born in Portugal, 1959, is a trilingual writer of Portuguese, German, and English. She lives in Germany. She was the delegate of the party De Grunen at the International Women's Congress in Nuremberg in 1991. She was president of Nuremberg's Portuguese Association. Her first appearance in the world of poetry was in 1996 at the poetry anthology Wartlot, Nuremberg. Since then, she has published poems in an enormous number of anthologies in Germany and Portugal. Thank you for joining us today, Maria. I shortened your bio a little bit, but uh, you can tell us a little bit more about yourself. How is life in Germany today? Uh, you mean life or the weather? I just, you know, just in general, like, you know, how are you feeling today? Um, I feel very well because, I, I, first of all, I have to thank you to, to having invited me. Mm -hmm. It's an to be with you now at the moment, you all this, the interviews I have uh, watched, you did with so much poets and very good poets, really. And that's an honor for me. Uh, I'm living in Nuremberg, like you told mm -hmm. now. Uh, I feel here in Nuremberg at home because Nuremberg is a a very, very, very rich town uh, concerning history. Uh, not only the bad part we know, the Congress from Nuremberg, all the, 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 the crimes Hitler did here in Germany and all over the world. Uh, the, the trial was here in Nuremberg and it was a main place for their, all this, this kind of crimes. Mm -hmm. But uh, also very good uh, artists, like uh, painters like Albert Dürer, uh, Sibylle Merian, uh, and many others, in, uh, also in the actuality. And mm -hmm. so I, I feel here really at home because I, I love the, the, the town. It's wonderful, the middle, middle age, uh, um, the, the architecture, uh, uh, Baroque, uh, Vidimaya is this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful town. Uh, and I, I also was uh, part at the very beginning from the Literature House, House of Literature in Nuremberg. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, learned many very good writers like Louis Begley and more than one time. And uh, I feel you know back at home. That's wonderful. It's it's good to find a you know a home away from home. I guess you could call it uh, you know an, another place where you can kind of nest and do your poetry and be inspired. I want to correct yes. myself though. This is episode two hundred and forty four, not two hundred and forty three. So you're number two forty four today. Uh, so thanks for being on the show. So do you find that uh, you know the city of Nuremberg does it inspire your poetry at all? And then how how does it do that? Uh, 
Uh, it's very ins inspiring, very, very much, because uh, I, I started in, in this Roman, I, I, I'm finishing, uh, I tell about the Sibylla Marian, the first woman who had his seat in America. Mm -hmm. uh, she was painter by, uh, by, by, by uh, biological, biological the paint, the, the plants and uh, insects, mm -hmm. and uh, she was uh, a woman, a power you cannot imagine, and uh, she had big problems after the divorce with her husband, and then it went to the parents' uh, country, to Holland, to Netherlands, and then sh she was invited to to go with the scientists in North America mm -hmm. to, to discover and to paint about, to write about. And she was a very inspiring person for me. Oh, interesting. So what made you decide to move to Nuremberg? Was there like a, you know, an attraction <laughs> from the art or was it just you landed there by chance? Uh, how did you get there? Uh, I have to tell that my my elder, my parents uh, mm -hmm. came to Nuremberg from Portugal to Nuremberg to work, but my father had problems. I I had to be a elite girl and not uh, the daughter of uh, workers in Germany, mm -hmm. and so I stayed in in Portugal. But I came in the summer holidays. Uh, and I learned, I studied German and English. My English is not so good at all because I don't, uh, yeah, I, I don't read so much, sorry. Uh, I, it's like last time I reading uh, much more than in the past. Uh, I, I write like, you know, in English. Uh, and I, came in the, I, I was already working in Portugal, but I came to visit my mother and my brother. And then I met uh, the father of my daughter. And uh, I, I was fascinated because he belonged to the party, the Grünen, and uh, my brother had a leucemia, you mm -hmm. understand leucemia, when he was six years old and I thought uh, he was. He went to Portugal when he was a baby, and came with three years uh, when he was three years old. And I gave the um, guilty where the, the pollution. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was also for the nature and for eco ecology, mm -hmm. and I entered. Uh, he, I felt in love and he was also a man from the art, Germanistic and the art. And um, he demanded me to stay with him. <laughs> and I let everything in Portugal and my apartment by Lisbon to close to the beach. <laughs> but I, I let it everything away and I came to, to Nuremberg and I stayed here and married and so on and so on. Oh, okay, that's a fascinating story. Do you per participate in any live events right now, or are you mostly, you know, locked down like the rest of us, or, or like many of us? Because like, some things are re relaxing. You know, when you go, do you ever attend poetry events, or did you before uh, COVID? Uh, sorry. Did you did you attend any any poet live poetry events before COVID or in Nuremberg or? or, uh, or I, I I was um, during the last five years I was healed and I I entered in um, solitude as of living nearly alone because I cannot could not go away I had pains uh, I had a, I suffered a, an accident. Um, 20 years ago, and I had a um, traumatism, brain traumatism, this three degree, such, such degree, I 
my texts say I, I'm dead. And uh, I had problems with uh, all the no uh, bones were broken. Mm -hmm. Not, not all, every, but nearly. And I had uh, problems after that. I do with this problem. And uh, but now, since uh, one year, I'm the old one again. For the power <laughs> and uh, my best friend Marinella Mirpudi, the founder of the organization, uh, Era the Light of Women, thought about me to help me and uh, gave me this uh, task to make the anthology, and I accepted it. It was medicine for me. And now I am going to start again. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Just getting back into poetry and the uh, yeah. events. Events are really fun. I, I you know, I, I enjoy open mics. We had a discussion yesterday with the poet who said that he likes to perform his poetry. You know, he, he memorizes it and performs it. I, I love to read for, to 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 the claim the, the poems. I, some people m mean uh, I the poems I write are better when I le uh, read the right. claim. They, 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 they are good at all on the paper, but it's better if I declare them. What are some of the uh, uh, themes that you regularly write about in your uh, in your work? I I, I, I write about life. Mm -hmm. If I see a woman with a child, uh, I think how is how is she living? How is her life? And then I, I wrote in my first book. Uh, not all my, all the poems I write are biographical. I, I because uh, I mean literature, poetry. We are the, the photographs of the, our society, mm -hmm. and so I, I look minutiously to nearly everything, and then I I write about it uh, about uh, uh, bo um, trees, about uh, pollution. About war, I, I invite. I had a, a, a family Bosnian by the war in the, in the mm -hmm. Balkan war with baby, and I and they, during this time I started uh, not not starting because the colonial war from Portugal in Africa moved mm -hmm. me to also to write about war. Because I was a little child, and I listened all the time. Uh, the, the young man is di uh, died in uh, in Africa, in Angola, or in Mozambique, and so on. And it mm -hmm. it made me a uh, to write against war. Right. So there's a, a interesting uh, poem that I read. One of your poems. It's called Lisbon, and I wanted to quote it because I thought this was an interesting phrase that you used. Your dress is art. History accompanied of the music that comes from your infinite soul. I'm just curious, like, where did you conceive that idea of, like, you know, like a, a I guess, a, like a living history in that poem? You know, the dress is embodying history. W what is that poem about? Uh, look, uh, we are that mm -hmm. what we, uh, the past of our parents, the past of our grandparents, the, mm -hmm. the genetical are transmitted through all these uh, points we, we don't look about, mm -hmm. we don't think, we, don't, we cannot see, but mm -hmm. uh, the history preg is very pregnant mm -hmm. in the form of being, in the form of living, like geographical, the, the, the word, weather, everything mm -hmm. we are composed by, like a puzzle, we are just a puzzle. Mm -hmm. And this, that's what, uh, yeah, I, I wrote the poem like that. Yeah, I, I like the phrase, the, the music that comes from your infinite soul. Is that about the country or, or the city or is that about like a person or? Uh, about the, the city, mm -hmm. mainly the city because Lisbon uh, has um, a very, very old story. Mm -hmm. And uh, even in the time of the Greeks, Rome, uh, Roman, uh, and um, so many 
pieces, uh, so many small and so big things. Uh, there, there are some uh, le legends, legends, mm -hmm. correct, the word, mm -hmm. uh, concerning giving Lisbon a name of uh, uh, a woman uh, uh, that not exists, the such uh, it's a poem. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I, I, I used to say uh, Lisbon is very mystical. After uh, eight, 18 o'clock, 6 p.m., but uh, to to feel that you have to know something about uh, Lisbon's history. Mm -hmm. If you don't know anything about uh, Lisbon, you cannot uh, feel this. Uh, Flavor of music is a mystical flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, I yeah. love Lisbon. <laughs> That's wonderful. It, you know, it's good to have a connection and, and you know to understand the, you know where where the you know the history of a place you know and where it's been yeah. and what what's been experienced there. It's really interesting when you when you write you know when you write your poetry like when do you think it, you're most inspired do you write like in the morning at night and I, no no uh, one of the very very known uh, italian poets i have problems with my mind through this uh, accident i told you before mm -hmm. but she writes the poets write in the night works in mm -hmm. the night uh, i'm not a poet i, I write uh, every time I, I wrote a very one of the poems we have here, a love poem. I wrote mm -hmm. it concerning ten, I suppose, ten o'clock uh, in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't have time to write. Uh, things just came. I sometimes I'm in the in the bar. And I have to write. Oh, can you give me a paper in the <laughs> <laughs> a pen? Because I have it nothing. Happens when it happens. Yeah. At the moment, I, I I try to have. I have my smartphone, and then I have office, and I write also on the smartphone. I, because I don't have time to write. It's it depends on what I see, right. what I, people are talking about. I I, I wrote during the football team uh, match. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, about concerning football, okay. but I also, uh, yeah, that's it, I don't have to, any time as a precise time to write. Right. I, just like that. <laughs> it just, it just kind of you don't you don't do it consistently like a like a discipline. It just when the moment happens, it it, it happens. It just you go with the flow basically. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a lot of poets do that. They just kind of. Whenever the moment hits, I do that a lot myself. Yeah. I don't have a regular time where I sit down and write. You know, it just when the when that moment of inspiration, when I have that that uh, epiphany of thought, I sit down and write. You know, whatever yeah. happens, what happens to come through my mind. You know, so uh, do you enjoy listening to music or anything like when you're writing or? Uh, yeah, when I'm writing or reading mm -hmm. classical classical music or jazz sure. without uh, words. Just the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need music. I, I all the time in my apartment, <laughs> it's music on YouTube yeah. or uh, CD uh, all the time, all day mm -hmm. long. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> I suppose it's a, a little bit, uh, been a little. I'm a little bit radical concerning listen to music. Mm -hmm. Extremely. Yeah, I'm a big music fan too. It's just I, I noticed that because when when you mentioned in the in the poem I just quoted in Lisbon. You know the music that comes from your infinite soul. I, I can just detect. You know you have like a, a relationship with music there. Yeah. I, I play piano, but uh, okay. due, uh, due my accident, uh, in the problem, uh, the, the traumatism, brain traumatism, uh, it was uh, wrist. I cannot play piano anymore, mm -hmm. and the, the the pain. I I could learn mm -hmm. again because this was raised. But mm -hmm. I could, uh, but it was a pain. I, I also did the, the, the fingers. I could not move the fingers like before, and so yeah, no oh, piano sorry. anymore. I Did love. Thought about learning another instrument or maybe trying like a flute or something. You know, I know. Um, um, I, 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 I'm at the moment. I'm. I know. I, I don't. I close to it. Play 
playing instruments. I, I had a guitar when I was a little girl, uh, but I, I didn't, it was not, I don't know, it was not time, that, no. A piano was really wonderful. I love to, to mm -hmm. play piano, but it's closed. We're going to take a brief break and we'll come back and listen to some of your words and some of your poetry. We have a wonderful spoken word performance from Dion Hunter. So let's take a look at that. When World, world Inker. I'm at that age where I appreciate every sunrise, sunset, and all the hours in between. The age that causes me to notice the rhythmic timing of each breath. A reminder to thank God for granting me another day. I'm at that age where joints begin to stiffen and maybe I don't move as fluently as I did at 22. But I'm also at that age where I realize many didn't even get to see today. So I pray on bent and aching knee, thank you God for blessing me. I'm at that age where I notice my kids making some of the same mistakes that I did. And I remind myself that although never easy, I made it through and so will they. I'm at that age where I understand that money never buys true happiness. But I'm also at that age where I understand it definitely does help to have a bit. I'm at that age where six pack abs still attract, but I'm also at that age where the behavior of a true gentleman will stop me in my tracks. I'm at that age where I know what it means to be a woman alone with how to treat my man. Beginning with listening as he explains what he needs from me. You see, there may be many similarities, but all men are not the same. I'm at that age where I realize good things don't come to those who wait. They go to those who educate, plan, sacrifice, work, and repeat over and over and over again. I'm at that age where I appreciate spending time with family, whether we're on good terms or not. Because I'm at that age where I'm losing so many people that I care about. I'm at that age where I'm bearing down on that age where there are more chapters of my life in past instead of future tense. But I'm at that age where I refuse to give up. I continue to climb, to create, to improve, love, and share, bearing my soul to the universe while honoring my ancestors, my God, and myself, while becoming the best version of me possible because I'm at that age. Do you know that there is a publishing company that wants to make life easier for you as a writer? This publishing company is called World Inkers Printing and Publishing. We publish in all different languages, and we're looking for writers of all genres, all formats. We're looking for scholars, ghost writers, playwrights, poets, short fiction, novelists, you name it. We're looking for anybody who is interested in writing and the craft of writing to be in touch with us. You can reach us at at info.worldinkers at gmail.com. With World Inkers Printing and Publishing, you do not require a lot of money to publish with us. Contact us today at info.worldinkers at gmail.com. Become a winner with other authors at World Inkers Printing and Publishing. Give us a shot. We, we will surely finish you. Welcome back to World Inkers Network, episode 244. Today we have Maria on our show, and she is going to read a couple of poems for us. Do you have a poem or two to share? Yeah. So, compassion lives in the house of pity. My love for you, my love, lives in the heart's house, once enriched by the blue of your eyes. My love for you. My beloved lives in the house of the spirit 
a day enriched by your speaking smile. I want to be loved by you, not in the house of pity, not in the house of compassion, but in all those places where my love for you was born and still is living. Oh, lovely. <laughs> replay, replay the touch on my small hand, missing your sewish skin. Replay the touch in my delicate knife, missing the words of your fingers. Replay the wish and drive with me to a wonderful world full of sensuality, missing anything. Was a network glitch? Missing uh, anything. Like we lost our, there you go, you're back. You're Sorry? Back on. We lost you for a second there. Can you start, oh. can you read that again? Yeah, 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 yeah. replay. Replay the touch on my small hand, missing your soulish skin. Replay the touch on my delicate nape, missing the words of your fingers. Replay my wish and drive with me to a wonderful world full of sensuality, missing anything we can taste or smell. Replay my wish and drive with me where we can replay everything we love to love, we love to do wherever we, play, we want, wherever we want to replay. Hmm. I love your Where, enunciations and readings. It's very nice. You're very passionate. Poet <laughs> Poetic diary. Sometimes the brain also goes on strike. You are its owner. You have the leadership but he refuses to work. Not following orders, you give to him. Everything repeats itself. It just changes the scenery. Only change the main characters. Only the extras change. It also changes learning knowledge of new facts, the knowledge of a new feeling. Even the reason changes. Mm. Was that about a specific... Uh like a protest or a worker's, um, you know, a rebellion of some kind? Or was that just a general observation? They got something against dogmatism. Well, okay. People, I, 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 I'm allergic. So when I, when I, uh, I'm together you know, on a table or so, so by friends with a dogmatism, or I have such big, uh, people I know, I mm -hmm. don't start discussing. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. I say <laughs> nothing. I don't lose my energy <laughs> fighting against something I cannot win, uh, that I cannot right. uh, teach. They, they don't, they are a bit closed because everything changed. Also the reason. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, uh, each people has uh, one of his own uh, well, um, I, I have a blackout now. Uh, um, well, view tr true, uh, uh, own true, mm -hmm. one reason. So, I'm going on. Okay, take care, take care. Also, an, an impossible love may close your heart with a security key forever. Take care if you do not have the possibility to leave your secret love as a real one. Take care. Close your heart before you start loving the being that you cannot get under your skin. Take care. Do not put the blame on you. Shangri-La. Hmm. Shangri-La. On the way to Purgatory. A black abstract separation from the walls. The chairs, the tables, the face and the one bar's voice, which accompanied her existence at this place all the time she's living in town, takes place on her head. Is there a reason for that? There is always an excuse if you want, if you are looking for. In this case, her intuitive skull is claiming in the last time. Hmm. Feeling like persona non grata on the way to purgatory. 
and then it's a dance. It's a dance to the rhythm of questions conceived without time. It's a dance to the rhythm for many reasons to be listened. It is a dance to the rhythm of memory sought forgotten. It is a dance to the rhythm of questions judged without reply. It's a dance to the rhythm of the deepest look in our life. It is a dance to the rhythm of the abstraction to recover a love she sought had been lost. There's your with your you know the kind of music references and the dance you know and and you know that's it's beautiful it's it's very interesting how you you know make that metaphor of uh of out of a you know dancing and and life I mean like you said at the beginning of the program you write about life so thank you for sharing those if you had to describe your poetry in maybe like a couple of sentences how would you do that uh, just to two words come from my eyes from and my heart mm -hmm. and the brain right concludes all the words i brought to the paper hmm. okay well, that's interesting that's an interesting way to describe it yeah, so it's like it's like you you see and you feel things you know and as you're observing and 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 the process you you know you 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 think about what's going on and then you, you know, write down what, what's going on in your, and in, in, into your poetry, you know, like your life, like the life observations. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> That's good. It, it's, you know, I think that poetry can be a chronicle. It can be something that, you know, it's, it's history. It's also the, the subjective yeah, side yeah, of yeah, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. nature. Yeah. It's, it's very much a, uh, you know, about the feelings and passions going on within people, you know, during a particular time. And, and you know, as an individual writing a poem, you're, you're chronicling history in a way, you know, yeah. just a different, very different way than maybe historians would do it. Yeah. Uh, in Portugal, we have uh, a writer from the... Uh, 50, uh, yeah, uh, 100. Uh, mm -hmm. Even here in, in uh, the University of Erlangen, they had uh, this uh, poet, this, this writer, chron chronist, mm -hmm. uh, to, to be studied. Uh, and it, 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 it was not uh, historical, but a writer. Mm -hmm. Also, poetry. And Gilles, uh, Gilles Vicente, wonderful, magnificent. Excellent. So you have an anthology you were, were talking about at the beginning of the program. What is, what is, was there a theme to that? How, what did you, how did you put that together? What, you know, can you give us a little information about it where we could find yeah. it? Um, you can, uh, you can go to the organization, uh, I give the heracity.org mm -hmm. and um, you can uh, download the the book, the anthology, mm -hmm. or write to the email and demand uh, an exemplar. Uh, the, like I told you before, uh, my friend Marinella Mirpuri, she founded this um, uh, organization that uh, she started, founded a, a city mm -hmm. where to make conferences, uh, uh, holidays, women with children, but also men, no separation, no feminism in form, radical form. And the, this organization uh, wants to help people who have problems, uh, existence problems with uh, in, in every terms. Uh, for instance, the, they made, uh, they created in, in India, caused the violation that uh, companies uh, drive the women from the work to, uh, at, um, to their homes. 
uh, they credits for low credits for buying an apartment and uh, such projects all over the world mm -hmm. uh, somewhere we have to start it uh, and by the, the I mean elite women so that they can came have the possibility to become CEOs and uh, in the political and in the economy and finance mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. uh, and I was uh, I, I was completely astonished because, and uh, I, that was a dream of me and the people, the woman from the group, the the Green in Nuremberg. We yes. thought to it could it was we had to fight to to have something like that, mm -hmm. a, a city where women we can. Uh, give the old impulse and uh, also monetary to help them and uh, when my friend marinella founded it i was completely mad <laughs> for happiness mm -hmm. and uh, when she asked me to make the to coordinate the anthology uh, so for, for that all i thought about uh, in english and i like i told you i didn't have the the, the contact with the, the english language long mm -hmm. ago because i i worked in the tourism and so in the during this time i write uh, letters in coming agencies and so on and so on but mm -hmm. i i i i had my second language language was german uh but then i i thought about uh, fernando pessoa the big the enormous liter for me, not only a poet or a writer, but philosopher, he mm -hmm. wrote also in English. He, and then I said, "Oh, just a moment." <laughs> I, I yes, I, am, I I accept. Thank you. And then she 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 thought I will contact the poets uh, I know already from the. So she did. She had no. She didn't imagine that I I did. And I invite such poets, and uh, I want such poets for the, our anthology. And it was good for all of us. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And, it's like a really yeah. immense project. What would you say in conclusion of the program to our viewers and, and uh, listeners right now? So I have to tell you, I'm, a, I'm preparing a book, poem, a po yeah. uh, poetry book in English. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I also want to to, to 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 give it to people cannot uh, cannot English. So I uh, I will uh, translate the poems in in Portuguese, and mm -hmm. uh, it will it will be a bilingual uh, poetry book. I will uh, love poems and more because. Okay. The, a big part of the people i'm already 61 like you know and mm -hmm. people love is just for young people and uh, 40s and but not uh, 60s you know and mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy it's completely stupid uh, yeah. i i think all the time in the uh, love in uh, time of color from garcia marcus mm -hmm. that's a stupidity uh, i wrote uh, yesterday in new york uh, um, New York Times that uh, sex uh, can be more not better <laughs> after 70. Okay, wow. That's uh, but, uh, that, you know, <laughs> that, that's a taboo. That's just mm -hmm. a taboo. And right. women, uh, women after 50, 55, 50, 56 ah oh, forget about it old lady mm -hmm. and that's stupidity mm -hmm. and so I, I i want to present this book i will find a title I present this book like old woman can fell in love mm -hmm. and write love poems too for Excellent. That intensively. Like interesting interesting idea would you like to give any shout outs or say thank you to anybody while you're on the program? I have to thank you very much uh, 
I have to thank you, Marinella Mirpuri, for uh, first of all, because if she didn't uh, invited me, had invited me to make the anthology, I will write for the, you know, from my box, mm -hmm. uh, my Puskate. And uh, I have to um, thank you the to the uh, sorry to my problem with the, the remembering the the man who invited me your, your college the, the oh sorry i have he, he wrote me on, on facebook to present myself to you to write you and to pre present my my poems and my bi mini biography and mm -hmm. i have to thank you this turker and i have to thank you him too and you very, very, very much, Dustin. Thank you as well. It's been wonderful and, and very pleasant talking with you about uh, poetry and, and and Germany and Portugal and other various things we discussed. And, and I'm glad to have had you on the program and, and thank you for joining us. So uh, it's been really nice to, to have a discussion and, and this has been World Anchors Network and this has been episode 244. We're passing over to, to nearly to 250 episodes. We definitely need donations to continue this program. I don't hate to be a spoil sport, but it does cost us. So, you know, if you can give us some donations, anybody out there is willing to donate and publish with us as well. We would love to hear from you uh, with from PayPal, uh, paypal.me slash nyparrot. You can get in touch there. For the uh, for any kind of donation, like it could be as small as five dollars. I mean, anything you can spare, we would love to be able to take your money and uh, use that for our purposes of uh, promoting the arts as well as your own art. So, if you've been on the program and you had enjoyed and participated, we'd love to hear from you with the donations. And we're looking for winners, W I N winners, uh, World Inker Network. Uh, we we're looking for you at info.worldinkers at gmail.com. And if you want to be on the program as a guest, we'd love to have you as well. And we'd love your suggestions. So you can get in touch with me, Dustin Pickering, at literarycorner at newyorkparrot.com. You can see that scrolling down there at the bottom there, literarycorner at newyorkparrot.com. Write that down and keep in touch with us. Uh, we definitely need some guests. If you have a music video or a spoken word performance you'd like to share on the program, we'd also love to hear from you for those purposes as well. So if you have been watching this program and you enjoyed it, subscribe, like, share, and comment. Share this content with others on Facebook. Tell other people about us, World Anchors Network. We'd love to have you as a subscriber to our YouTube. So don't forget right now, if you're watching, subscribe like the content, share it with other people. And while you're at it, sit down for a moment, contemplate the mysteries of the universe, get to writing. Have a great afternoon. This has been World Anchors Network. You know that there is a publishing company that wants to make life easier for you as a writer. This publishing company is called World Inkers Printing and Publishing. We publish in all different languages and we're looking for writers of all genres, all formats. We're looking for scholars, ghost writers, playwrights, poets, short fiction, novelists, you name it. We're looking for anybody who is interested in writing and the craft of writing to be in touch with us. You can reach us at info.worldinkers at gmail.com. With World Inkers Printing and Publishing, you do not require a lot of money to publish with us. Contact us today at info.worldinkers at gmail.com. Become a winner with other authors at World Inkers Printing and Publishing. Give us a shot. We, we will surely finish you. Hi, I am Dustin Pickering from Parrot Literary Corner. You know me, your noble and honest host. And I've got exciting news for you. Last anthology series won the Literary Parrot, did such a great job. We want to continue to provide this, this community service to our viewers and to our contributors to the program. So please get up and get a copy immediately. You know, if you're in this book, you want to get a copy. If you're not in the book, you, you want to get a copy and see what we're doing. You want to be excited with us. We want you on this program and we hope to see you sometime soon on The Literary Parrot. You have to get your hands on this copy. It's amazing. It's an absolutely beautiful anthology meant just for you. 
Our past guests have been invited back to re- contribute yet again to the Series 2. We do this quarterly anthology. We will be doing this after our 200 episode milestone. As of this this last quarter, we reached 200 episodes and passed that. Get up and get a copy immediately. This is the only TV show on Earth for creative writers, and our guests are amazing. They're also community activists building the, from the ground up. This program is, is for everybody out there who is a creative mind. Order several copies if you can and donate to local libraries. Give them to your friends, cousins, fans, supporters, anybody that you think loves poetry. And it's not just poetry in this book. Remember, this is creative mind. So we have prose, fiction, short stories, essays, artwork, anything you can think of. Artistically creative, photographs, everything in this book is is packed. It is packed. It is just absolutely packed. If you want to get your hands on it now... Listen to the people, listen to humanity, listen to the parent, parent TV.